Typeform tutorial, how to use Typeform step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Typeform. So let's get into it. Now, Typeform is a tool that allows you to be able to manage your emails, to be able to integrate with multiple different tools. You can use this for marketing, product testing, customer success, HR, creators, and your general business use. Now, Typeform is going to help you in managing your business in a simpler way. So let's get started. Now, to get started, you're going to click on sign up on the top right, and you can get started with your email address, Microsoft or Google. So we're just going to go on ahead and we're just going to proceed with Google. Now, the best part about using Typeform is that it's integratable into any of your websites. So if I'm looking to build something related to lead generation, to maybe subscriptions to a newsletter, to build a interactive question and answer session, a quiz session, a product quality rating, then I'm easily able to do that with Typeform. So I have just logged on to my account over here. You guys will see on the top left, I have my organization so you can click on your organization members your admin settings then you have your private workspaces so you can click on over here and create your workspace then on the top right you have your general settings and you can go on ahead and visit any of their resources you have multiple different views and this is just like a board that i've created so I'm going to show you guys how you can create a separate board for separate uses as well. Now, as you guys can see, I have one organization over here and you can upgrade to a premium plan to be able to create multiple different organizations. So over here, we have our my workspace section, which is your default workspace. And on the bottom left, you have your apps and integrations. And then below that, you have your brand kit. Now, it's very pertinent that if you are on a premium plan on Typeform, you do make sure to upgrade your brand kit or you're able to add all of your brand info in your brand kit before you get started. This can simplify your work a lot as well, especially if you're working in bulk. Now, I'm going to go into my default workspace and I'm going to click on create workspace. So let's say this is going to be for my business Durden. So I'm just going to make the workspace in accordance with the name and I'm just going to proceed over here. Now, once I've created my workspace, I can get started with building my forms. So I can click on create new form over here and I have three basic options. So I can start from scratch. I can import my pre-existing questions that I'm looking to ask. And then I have a create with AI feature. This is going to handle your entire form and it will let you build a draft and you can then customize it on your own. Now I'm going to click on start from scratch over here and I'll show you guys how you can build your form without any help. So first off, you're going to give this a name, which might be mail subscription. So people would subscribe to our newsletter or something, and then you will see multiple different options on the type of form that you are creating. So a registration form, quiz form, a poll, a payment form, order form, application form, and much more. Now for us, this is going to be a registration form, and I'm going to click on continue. Now I am just going to continue on, and you will see on the left panel, you will see your content. So how many questions you want to add on the center you have your preview and on the right you have your question options then you have your design options and then you have your logic options so if it is going to be something that is a choice based question so i'm going to click on the left panel over here on the top left and then you will see you have smart blocks this will help you in just adding your own blocks and you will see a lead qualification so these would be ai generated questions these would be you can also add email short text as well so i'm going to add short text over here and i'm going to remove the first question that was added by default now i'm going to enter your email address like this and then i'm just going to add type your answer here i think this looks pretty good now after that on the top right you have your logic options so in your logic options you can choose whether or not a you know question is connected how people are meant to you know take a question as well so as you guys can see this is going to be one and then the next step so i'm going to go back into our questions and i'm going to add our second question which might be our maybe 
this is just going to be our short answer and this is going to maybe just say your name like this and as you guys can see you have different fields you can ask for phone numbers you have your email name so i can move this to the top instead of you know using a short question section so your email address and your name let's say this is the um full name let's say full name like this and then i can add more questions so let's say i want their phone number as well and then it's going to be your phone number and then i can also add a description so this is going to be optional like this over here and then on the bottom you will also see the accessibility options or tools make sure that your tools are accessible or your forms are accessible so people can reply as much as possible now once you do that you will see on your left panel you have your information about your question so i'm going to make the email field required and then the name field is also going to be required and then we have our phone number field which i'm not going to make a required field so this is the optional field on the bottom left you have endings so you can add a end screen or you can redirect to a url as well once you have completed your form you can see it on mobile as well as desktop views and you can click on preview over here to be able to see a live preview like this and then after you have seen your preview and you're satisfied with the appearance of your form just click on over here and we're just going to proceed so i am going to click on share and you can connect your pre-existing store or you can connect multiple different platforms if you want to just copy a link or insert with a qr code you can click on share on the top as well if you want to make this simpler so i like to go into the connect section and then after that you can connect your microsoft teams account excel account notion or any other tool to get started so most popularly people are looking for shopify you can easily connect shopify as well but you do have to use a zapier integration now after that so you can click on share over here and you can embed this in an email you'll see on the left panel over here you have the option to embed by email so you can go on ahead and uh, embed it by an email you will see on the right you have some information about embedding and then you can also embed this in a web page as well you will see the types of embedding that you can do so once we click on publish on the top right and once we have published our type form we can go on ahead and preview how it's going to look like in a web page so this is going to, it's going to look like in a web page you can make this standard you can make this a slider a pop-over a side tab a pop-up as well so if i want to make this a pop-up i'll click on over here and i can just click on start embedding and this is just going to give me a simple code and i can just copy this and embed this into my wordpress site or any other site so once you have completed this you can get started with creating a new form as well you can create multiple different forms and you can do a lot for free on the free plan of type form plus if you want to upgrade and get more tool to ai based tools so you can click on over here click on create with ai and i just want to create a open-ended questionnaire to gather in-depth quantitative data on experiences i can click on continue i can click on just generate form and then it's going to generate our form for us i don't have to do anything manually at all and then you can just customize the draft that it creates for you so you have so many different options and it's a simple and easy tool to use and it's super effective as well now i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel for for more content like this and i will catch you guys in the next video